Hello everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we are playing some more Oxygen Not Included. So this is a game that I featured on my channel when it first came in early access earlier in the year, um, but we really didn't get too far in it. Um, it was basically a short series, mostly because real world, real life stuff got in the way and I had to kind of cut some stuff from the channel. And so this was just one of those series that ended up um, just kind of falling by the wayside, uh, I guess, so to say. Uh, but it's a game that like I very much enjoyed and I very much wanted to play more of. In fact, we never even once deleted it from our hard drive. I've been thinking for a while I need to get back into it. And so we're hopping back into it today for a couple reasons. Number one, at the end of last month, at the end of November 2017, they released the automation upgrade, which essentially allows you to take your duplicates um, and instead of having them do all the menial tasks, you can actually automate things, which is really, really cool. And then in a couple days, we're actually going to get the tubular upgrade uh, essentially allows you to put elon musk like tubes throughout your colony that allows your um duplicates by the way duplicates is their word for colonists uh, but you basically can then transport them all over your colony really really quick so we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new game we're gonna roll with standard for now and we'll start game so if you've never played Oxygen Not Included or you didn't or you haven't seen it yet, uh, basically it's a game very similar to RimWorld. It's a colony management game. Um, unlike RimWorld though, RimWorld you tend to have to deal with giant problems like you have 50 raiders coming and invading your colony or something like this. This game's more about managing the little things. Like you have to manage your oxygen to make sure you don't run out because you're actually starting and living inside an asteroid. Um, you also have to manage everyone's stress so that they don't go crazy. So it's a lot of like little things that you have to deal with. Um, the game's made by the developers of Don't Starve, so it kind of has a very similar art style. So um, what we're looking at is we can start, or rather we start with three duplicates, and if we don't like them, we can shuffle them up. Um, let's kind of take a look. We'll start over here with Ruby. Um, you're a professional level two architect, which means you are really good at immunity. Let's see, athletics, digging. You're bad at learning. Your immunity is okay. You're a slow learner and you're uncultured. You, you don't care about decor expectation. The thing is, the lower the decor of, of your room, um, they'll start getting stressed out. So that's actually really good. So maybe it will take you even though you are a slow learner. Uncultured means that you just don't care about um, decor um, and you refuse to do art. What does the architect do? So they're good at construction. Well, you only start at level two, so eh, you're also uncultured. You know what? Since you two are both fairly similar, um, I'm actually just going to rotate you because you're a slow learner. Pacifist means you're not going to combat. That's fine. Slow learner again. I don't really care. Yokel, which means what? You can't research. You're also uncultured. My gosh, what's with these uncultured, man? <laughs> uh, you're good at uh, construction, athletics, creativity. I think let's shoot for someone with really good athletics. So I would like someone who can do some athletics. Oi. Well, bodybuilder. You know what? We'll roll with you. You got good strength. You got good athletics. You're flatulent, which means you're going to probably smell up the room a lot. Your decor is a little on the high side. So you know what? Let's re-roll you. There we go. Quick learner. Decor negative 10. Athletics plus 4. Learning, strength, tinkering, immunity, creativity. I love it. Okay, you're good. You're uncultured, but you're really good at construction. Awesome. You are good at learning and medicine. We don't have anyone who's a constructor, so let's instead look for construction then. Oh, actually, you were a construction. Dang it! So I had construction athletics. I'm an idiot. Um, I should probably grab someone who, who can dig. Or even a bodybuilder. Yeah, there we go. A miner, a digger in strength. That's cool. So bottomless stomach means you're going to eat a lot more, which kind of sucks. But you're buff, so that's good. Decor negative 10, that's probably good. Um, so what we want to do in this episode is I want to name everyone um, after... Well, I was going to name everyone after Star Wars characters, but none of these guys look like anyone from Star Wars. Well, this is weird. All right, fine. We'll keep with Nic Nicola, uh, Ada, and Stinky. Sweet. And we're in the Uncomfortable Citadel? Sure. Let's embark. It sounds like a plan. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to look at is we're going to want to find where all our minerals and water and stuff is. Let's pause the game. No, pause the game. I hit P. Ah, 
Okay, there we go. So we have some water over there. We have some water over there. We have some water over here. Water's really good because you need it to uh, basically make food um, pretty early on in the game. Algae is also good for us because that's going to um, allow us to uh, generate more oxygen. If we go and hit uh, F1, we can see our oxygen map. So these are areas that are very well breathed. Um, areas that you can breathe in uh, uh your characters like real life actually breathe out carbon dioxide so if we just kept them there infinitely eventually this would fill up and become completely unbreathable and we would die which is why we need to start um expanding a little bit to get some more oxygen but more we really need to build some uh, 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 uh um i don't want to say buildings but some uh machines and stuff that develop oxygen so Okay, we're pretty good there. Uh, things like the ox lights right there, we want to be careful to dig around because they actually uh, generate oxygen for us. So we don't want to actually um, dig into them right away. So first things first, I think let's go ahead and dig out this way because we want to get over to our water as quick as possible. And then I think we're going to go dig up here. And I don't think there was any oxygen in that room. We will go ahead and dig up this way. And I think I'm going to go dig here, dig up here. And then let's dig over here. And mainly, I just want to get the oxygen from this room into our area. The other thing I want to go ahead and knock out pretty quickly is we're going to dig down south. And the reason for this is we want to put a basement. Because like real life, oxygen is lighter than carbon dioxide. So oxygen is going to float to the top of our colony, where carbon dioxide is going to float to the bottom. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a basement, give or take, down here. Um, we also may want to go access this oxygen. We also want to look at getting as much of this bronze as possible. So I'm probably just going to go dig out all of this crap to begin with. Something like this. Actually, won't that fall to the ground? We should probably be a little careful. Let's actually cancel some of this. Uh, we're going to do something like that. And we'll just leave that there because we don't actually want to dig into that. We do want to go ahead and start throwing down some beds in this episode pretty early on. We also want to go ahead and make some ladders um, as soon as we get some resources so we can actually dig up. And we want to start throwing down tiles as much as we can because the tiles help make the colony a little prettier. So you'll see that their stress is going up. Can we actually click on one of them and see why they're a little stressed out? So drab decor. So essentially they're getting a little stressed out because of the drab decor. So we kind of want to take care of that pretty early on. The other thing we should probably grab is a storage compactor. Um, let's first go ahead and just start doing this. Let's go ahead and put that down right away. Um, and in fact, let's actually cancel. Let's cancel. Cancel C. We're going to cancel that one because we're going to put a ladder right through here we're gonna go up with this and we're gonna go down there okay because we're gonna want to access this water eventually we'll want to access that water eventually too um the copper is really good because any kind of wire you build and stuff like that needs copper we have a lot of oxygen up there so we may want to move up there we have different kind of maps too we have a power overlay we have a temperature overlay so it's going to start getting really warm the further from the center we're at lid area plumbing ventilation all that fun stuff so um we'll get to that later on in the game it looks like we're actually being attacked right away okay so hold up pause freaking pause the game ah yo i need you guys to actually kill him normally you don't want to attack these guys uh because they uh generate uh copper is it copper for you i think it no it's not copper it's coal they generate coal but they eat your resources um, but we do want to kill him off pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and put this on eight. So hopefully they just go kill him. Now, which is one of the guy that doesn't want to actually fight? She doesn't fight. So he will die pretty quickly here. He's going to do some damage to us. So, ah, freaking heck. I'm used to P being pause. <laughs> We're going to have to get used to that. We may want to get a med bed. Improves recovery. Nope. Accelerates health restoration and the healing and physical air injuries. Yeah, so we probably do want to throw that down pretty early on. But for now, let's go ahead and keep loading the game. We will need to throw down some beds before the end of the night. Where's it? Furniture. We want to get some cots down. Just so our people have places to sleep, because you don't want them sleeping on the ground. Um, the other thing is, we need toilets. So let's go ahead and pause the game. And let's go ahead and start building out towards our toilets. So... We want to uh, dig a four area, so let's go one, two, three, four. 
And then one, two, three. So then road, then one, two, three, four. And then this is going to be aisles. And then we want to continue to dig out. Dig is, dig is G. So keep digging out there. And then let's continue to build this. Okay, so I need a ladder that's going to go down, I guess, starting here. And you'll just keep going down all the way. Okay, first thing, though, is we're going to go ahead and prioritize. Let's get you up to, let's do six. I need all of you built ASAP, please. Oh, snap. Let's go this way. And then we're going to bump all you up to six. Because we need to get this done with as quick as possible, please. So the fact that it's um, prioritized means they should go in this direction. The fact that it's six means they should actually all be working over here because this is all five. I'm assuming they could probably only work on a couple things at the time, so that's why. Yeah, see, now they're all moving over in this way. Oh, you know, we didn't actually think about this. We need to actually build you here and here. Yeah. Okay, uh, hey. Prioritize building... Kind of screwed this one up already. Prioritize building this. And you know what? Go here. All this, let's just make a nine for now. Because I need to get a bathroom up ASAP. Hey, stinky man. Uh, let's do this. Sorry, nine. Come over here. Help out, dude. Yo, stinky. Stinky. You're on the wrong freaking side, man. And they're actually running out of oxygen right now. <laughs> uh, okay, hold up, hold up. We completely screwed this up. So let us instead put a six on all of this. Then we'll put a nine on that. Because so we need them to actually come over here and start building our ladder. Why is Stinky so over there? Like, that pisses me off a little bit. Come on, dude. He's building out the tiles. That's fine. The problem is our characters are going to start suffocating here pretty quickly. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious for us to die right away because we built too low. And we actually built over them, which is kind of our issue. Okay. Um, let's pause really quick. And let's prioritize... Let's make all this a six. Because they need to save their lives first. So. Don't die, man. Can we actually see how long until they die? We just need to get them a little bit higher. Eh. Yeah, we're suffocating. Is that their HP? Are we literally dying already? Wow. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, guys. They got oxygen. Whoa, we're not going to die. Well, that was embarrassing. Uh, we good. We good. We good. I was so much in a rush to get toilets up that we almost killed our units. We're also playing on speed one. We can probably go up to speed two for now. How late is it? It's still pretty early on. Um, other thing we want to go ahead and knock out right away is let's go ahead and get our beds. We're going to move our beds and separate them a little more. Um, a little bit later in the game. I'm actually going to put you guys on seven for the time being. And let's unpause the game because I want those to get built right away. We should have enough resources. I do need to get a toilet though going. And we have all the beds, so hopefully you guys can start working out over here. This is all six. So then let's pause you. I actually don't care about any of that crap right now. So let's instead on seven, put all this stuff on seven. Not P, dang it. P is prioritized. One of these days, I'm gonna hit the right freaking button. Um, so we actually wanna put a toilet down. We also, um, we don't wanna put a toilet right away. A, because we may want a door. Um, but more than that, we want a um, a washing station. So we're going to want to put it back a little bit. Let's put it like right here for now. And they're going to suffocate a little bit when they go poop. But hey, 
for the time being we're gonna have to deal with it until we can get some oxygen down here oxygen's not flowing all that well down here either yeah it's gonna take a little bit of time i wish we had uh permeable tiles but that's fine um okay let's pause let's hit p to prioritize and i would like to get you guys on nine okay just because you guys need to go to the bathroom Yeah, 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 you're suffocating, we know. And our base is gonna be pretty ugly to begin with. Um, one thing we should probably also get pretty quickly is let's grab a storage compactor. And actually, you know what? Let's do this. Put you here. Then we're gonna put a storage compactor right here. We're gonna do something like that for the time being. Okay, we now have a bathroom, so yay. I also may wanna look at this just isn't big enough for our oxygen to go down. So it may look really terrible, but we may want to put multiple ladders here. I mean, it's slowly floating down here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's okay. It's going to suck to begin with, but it should slowly start floating down here. So I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so they're all going to bed. Um, we can look at our first cycle report for night one. Uh, night one, we generated no oxygen or power. Um, so we ended up losing 81 oxygen kilograms, which is fine. Uh, we ended up losing 2,000 food, but we actually gained 2,000 food. Okay, so that was a net of zero. Our stress increased by 20 freaking percent just because of the decor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was an okay first night. We're going to go ahead and speed you up. Let's do speed three for the evening because there's not really anything for us to do. We have another one of these freaking guys right here. Um, we don't want him attacking us. Let's see where he falls asleep. Okay. So let's go ahead. I keep hitting P for freaking pause. So he went to sleep right there. So let's actually go ahead. And we're going to wall him in. Why? I guess because I need to uproot. I guess we need to uproot that first. Oh my gosh, not pee. Okay, so our bathroom area is completed. And so now we got a lot of digging to do. We're still trying to get to the water. Stinky's using the bathroom in front of everyone. It happens. So we need a food source, yep. So we're gonna keep running out of supplies. Right now we have 21,000 uh, kilocalories, which is okay. Are we on? Question. We're on Fahrenheit. I don't really know calorie, I mean, kilograms. Is that, that's metric, isn't it? I think that's metric. I don't know metric. I don't really know any of, uh, 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 measurement units. I've never was really too good at knowing uh, what's what when it comes to measurement units. Do we want to keep digging all the way over there? Probably not. Let's go ahead and cancel these. Stop like there for now. Okay, so we now have three storage containers. Uh, we can also put uh, everything. We're basically going to have them store everything. The other thing we probably want to go ahead and throw down is let's throw another storage compactor down here. And that storage compactor is only going to take um, the contaminated dirt that the outhouse uses. So, eventually we can get rid of that contaminated dirt and make it uncontaminated, but that's going to be a bit of ways away. What do we got down here? Hydrogen. We got chlorine, hydrogen, chlorine. Okay. Um, very breathable gas. Very breathable there, too. Nice. We do have water over here. Can I prioritize those, please? And we actually probably just want to start. We don't want to dig too big because here's the problem. If you dig too much, then you kind of find yourself in an awkward situation where uh, you're providing oxygen for a very large area. And you kind of don't want to go too big with it. But for now, I think we got to get down to this water eventually. So sure. Although we do have water there. Okay. Let's pause. We're going to need a ladder to actually get up here. 
So we're gonna do something like that, and that's gonna be a little ugly for the time being. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I want to build tile all the way to the ground. Please, thank you. And we want to prioritize that, so we're just gonna put that on nine. Please take care of that. And we're gonna block him in for the day, so we should be okay. Um, we won't. We don't have to worry about him attacking us in the middle of the night, I guess. That's kind of my only concern. So, we good there. We got our outhouse. We probably want to start looking at getting a food source, and we can make a microbe musher, but once again, we need access to water. Um, for us to get access to water, we need to use a um, pitcher pump to actually start generating water. Um, unfortunately, we can't quite get that yet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do build something like that. We're going to build tiles here and here. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's cancel this. And we're going to put you up a level. There you go. Yeah, we're going to put you like that, which means then we want to probably mine all of this out. And then let's go ahead and put you here. We're going to mine that. Um, however, we're going to need a ladder to get up here. So let's go up here and let's cancel you. Perfect. Not P. <laughs> oh, how many times am I going to hit the wrong freaking button? Um, okay, we also should go ahead and start building tiles. So one, two, three, four. Are building stuff like this. We're gonna do something like that. That's gonna allow us to start digging a little further. And then we're gonna get that going. That's gonna get me water, and we can actually put then our microbe musher right up there, which is gonna be good for us. How's our oxygen? See, yeah, we're looking good now. We still need to dig up into here. Getting quite a bit of copper. Next, we also probably wanna start looking at getting some power. Um, but I don't think we're in any rush. Let's go ahead and look at what was our cycle two report. We also got skill increase. So it's digging's raised to two. So we lost oxygen that day. We lost quite a bit of calories. So we are running ish low on food. Um, stress is okay. Negative 108%, but everyone's at zero. So I think we're good there. So I think we're okay for the time being. Um, we also want to look at getting research up ASAP so we can start accessing some of our research. Uh, do we have a, we do actually have a wash basin. I didn't think you started with this. So we're going to throw a wash base, basin down right away. And then I think let's go ahead and throw a medical table down right away too. Does this have negative, um, let's see, health, disease, doctoring? Yeah. I'm trying to see decor. You're actually a positive decor. You don't have any decor negative and or positive. So we're going to go ahead and throw you there. And I think that's fine. Wait, I did this completely wrong. I am an idiot. Whoa, where's deconstruct? Deconstruct you. Deconstruct you. Let's put the ladder instead here and here. That'll look a lot better. Probably? We have this little hole here. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make it look good. Obviously, because of where things are sometimes, you can't exactly get it to look exactly right. Okay, so we now can get water. So first thing we want is we want the uh, food. I want the micro musher. Oh, we need power for this thing. Ugh, that sucks. Question. Power. It, it, it gives heat? But it doesn't actually have any negative decor. Battery, however, no decor either. Wire does. Um, if you have exposed wire, that actually lowers your decor. So I think we're gonna probably throw our power down right around here. Let's put our generator right here. And then we're gonna run you up. So we want to come down two with you, and then we're gonna put a pneumatic door there. You know what we might do? This will actually look better. Let's do it like this. Yeah, that's gonna look a lot better. And then our starting area is gonna be five high, which I think is fine. Okay, so then we want to deconstruct, which is X, and we're going to deconstruct all of this. And then we want C to cancel that. Um, instead, we want just to dig it. Okay, 
yeah, let's roll with that for now. Um, we've been going 24 minutes, so we'll do one more day. Our food, we do need to get food going ASAP, so let's go ahead and prioritize this stuff. Please prioritize you as an eight as well. And then we're going to want to start building wires. So let's go ahead and grab some power. And we're just going to start building wires up here. We're going to build the wire there. Crap, we need a wall. Is that going to leak water out? I don't know if that's going to actually leak the water out. I'm worried about losing water because of this. So we got the power generator going. Yeah, so it leaks some water. Oh, God. All right, we're leaking a lot of water. Guys, give me a tile. Go. Uh, P9. Go. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that's gonna make everyone a little unhappy. We good, we good, we good, we good. Just, just kind of fall down there, that's fine. Okay, we good. Now what we want to go ahead and do is, let's go ahead and throw a tiny battery. The battery has negative decor, yeah. It has some pretty bad decor. I actually like to throw the battery down this way, perhaps. Uh, you know what, let's just start with one battery. I don't need three batteries. Let's see. What the heck, you construct? Cancel. What? Why can't I freaking cancel it? Why can't I cancel? All right. Well, let's just prioritize one battery. Do something like that. And then we want to work on our wiring. So let's get you going here. And then we're going to get you up there. We're going to get you and put you up there. Then we want to take you. Go up here. Go up here. Go up there. Go up there. Not P. Dang it. Um, the other thing is we should probably go ahead and mop this up. Make them a little less angry. When they mop it up, what do they do with it? Do they put it in water bottles, or does it just disappear forever? If so, we wasted a little bit of water, which is a little disappointing. But, okay. Okay, we got our one battery going. We finally canceled those two, like we wanted. Um, and so then let's go ahead and prioritize these guys Just so we can finish this off and then I would like to sweep Everything we have in this area just to make it a lot neater So that's the goal is to make everything neater, okay, so we now can go ahead and create um, some food um, we have a bristleberry, which requires bristleberry and sleet wheat, and it's quality poor. Um, this is grizzly, ugh. And then we got a lice, uh, wolf. Lice loaf. Which is also terrible. This is actually the most th filling. That one uses a lot of meal lice and a little bit of water. This one uses dirt and water. So we're going to go ahead and queue up some of those to get some food going. The other thing we need to start looking at is getting oxygen. So we probably want an oxygen deoxidizer. And this is going to actually pump up oxygen. So I think we're going to put it maybe down here so that it goes up. Um, our oxygen, though, still looks pretty okay, because we still have quite a bit of oxalites, but those slowly start disappearing, so we're going to have an issue um, eventually. I still want you guys to keep mopping these up, please. Oh, we have the opportunity to get another duplicate. Sweet! All right, let's go ahead and choose a new duplicate. Now, normally, you don't want too many duplicates, or else you can find yourself in a bad situation, so we'll see what we got here. We have an athletics, cooking, learning, strength, tinkering, construction. His decor expectation, though, is high. He also is more likely to get sick. We have a non-constructor, or we have a squeamish, and a yokel. But he's good at tinkering. You know what? I think we're going to take you, Abe. Now his decor is 10. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so you're the only one we can do, but you can build. You can dig, but you can't build. Is that a problem to have someone who can dig or build? You know what? We're just going to reject them. I don't like any of them enough. Normally, you want to grab maybe that first one and then take a break, but no, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried right now. Like, none of those guys were particularly great, so 
Now you are going to hold up. Battery range, so you're gonna start, um, duplicate will operate this generator when the battery charge falls below 50%. Okay, so why are you using it then? Because the battery's at 100%. We're only using one thing that uses power right now, so we should be okay. Although apparently that uses a ton of freaking power, man. Our food generation should be pretty good though, today. We also wanna look at building farms down to the south. Um, I would like to maybe build some research here in this area. Or maybe we'll go over here and start doing some research. Do something like this. And then build another tile there. And we're I think we're going to set up some research right down here. Um, hold up. Let's first start with P to prioritize. And I would like to actually prioritize our oxygen... J, um, our oxygen algae deoxidizer so we can get uh, more oxygen quicker um let's actually look at our cycle three report so we ended up losing a little bit of oxygen we ended up um wasting just a little bit of power we only lost 104 calories so we we're really 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 freaking close um i think we made two of those so we may have to make like three a day or something like that just to stay uh equilibrium um, but for now, we're going to wrap up this first episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. Any suggestions you guys have, definitely let me know. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Um, our base is pretty ugly right now. I am definitely going to own up to that. Um, but we're going to start making it prettier as we progress. So I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.